Hey guys, I'm so excited to talk about the Unflappables. This team really blew it out of the park this week. This week was their challenge week, which gosh, they they got right to work and um, created what I think is going to be a um, KBC tradition. I think this is something we should do in the beginning of every week of the first contest or even just for the community when we get new people. It was such a treat to watch people share their why as to why that they're the why they're doing the contest this year and um just connect with people. I mean it is amazing just watching the video. I was it made me happy. I had shared uh, during a class, I don't know if I said this, but when I did my W legs for this week, I was so excited because I was like, oh my gosh, it's contest. I'm so excited. I wrote down everything that I had to do. And one of the things was to watch the video and to take notes. And I was like, just what do I want to do first on my, my, my goal list this week? Cause they were all such fun things. And, um, then I ended up having a not so good day on Tuesday, was it? Or Monday. Monday is when the whole audio thing started to energy. And um, I was there for several hours waiting for someone that didn't come. And then when I got home, I just had this like short piece of time and I was like mad because I wasn't productive. And I was like, I'm going to watch the video. And it totally lifted me up. So thank you, Unflappables, for that. So the things that I'm going to share from Unflappables um, report is why they chose the name that they did. So unflappable is designed as having or showing calm in a crisis and marked by assurance and self-control. Our team, the unflappables, tends to roar into the 20s with consistency, confidence, and control despite our current world situation. Nice job, guys. That's <laughs> just good on so many levels. You know it is. You know it's good. Uh, speaking of connections... The Unflappables were char in charge of challenging the other five teams to make connections during week one. It's hard missing our KB friends and KBC friends in person, so we asked everyone to do the next best thing. And that's where the vid hug came in, so I already talked about that a little bit. So another thing that this team did, um, and I love, I love when I see other people in the team, that aren't necessarily the leaders, stepping up with their strengths. That's something that I always look really favorably on because that's to me a team is when everybody use their strengths to make the team better. So Kara Beckman, our resident, edu resident educator, suggested we dig even deeper to find some personal connections, personal connections to others. So we asked each pair of captains to pose a question on their team Facebook page. So this, I'm beyond excited to read the answers. Describe, excuse me, describe a time when consistency played a role in success and rate your confidence. And during the pandemic, what things have you been able to control? What do you need help with? So what they're doing, I, I believe, is that they're taking this throughout the entire contest and they're going to then pair people up based on their answers. So this has an ongoing effect. Um, and she said, the answers on our page helped us to get to know each other even better. This week, our team plans to use those answers to help find accountability partners within the group. We hope we've inspired other groups to do the same. So I love that. Sharing, collaboration, um, even though it is a competition, I love the idea of... Um, kind of teams working within each other because so many people cite that one of the things that they like the best about this contest is getting to know other people. And this year we we kind of kept people together um, that already knew each other. So I'm already seeing how the element of um, getting to know other people is still going to be really relevant this contest. And I just wanted to show their logo up close. This is the Unflappables roaring into the 20s with consistency, confidence, and control. Love it, roaring into the 20s, so good, so good.